Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. New hair! Yay! I really wanted to get rid of all the golden that had grown out in my hair and just keep it sort of one tone. So I went to LJ Hair on the northern beaches of Sydney and it was incredible. It was amazing. They absolutely knocked out of the park. I saw Josh. If you're going to head down there, please say hi from me. But for now, we are filming a 7 for 7. So this is a series, if you haven't been on my channel before, where I pick seven products to use for seven days, so that's one week. The idea of this was similar to like a shop my stash, except I wanted to limit myself to the amount of products I had going in my everyday makeup drawer at any one time, just because I really enjoy project panning and seeing some progress on those products. So we'll go through, I had eight in there for last week. Uh, because if I haven't used it enough, I do leave it in for another week. So I had eight products in last week. I have successfully used all eight. So they are all going back and then we're going to roll in another seven. So I'm very excited about that. We'll start with lip products from last week first. So I did have the MAC lipstick in Love You Back. This was the shade that was released at Mechaland here in Australia. It is part of their nude range. Um, really, really loved this shade. Gorgeous colour. Went really nice over a sort of semi-darkish lip liner. So just a little bit darker than this. Looked gorgeous, amazing. As all MAC lipsticks, super comfortable. I'm just popping them there. Uh, the next lip product was from Mega Max. This was one of their pop, uh, Pout Pop lipsticks. This is in the shade Pencil Skirt. This is... Um, listed or described as one of their sheer formulas i think it definitely is but it is super comfortable and super lovely on the lips it just gives a little pe like peachy tone to the lips really really nice really enjoyed it and it wore really well during the day i wore that one to work uh next we've got let's do these we've got some base products here so first we had shape tape from tarte i had never tried this before this is my first time trying it i got the shade light medium Really enjoyed it. I don't think I see the biggest hype, like why it was such a big hype, but I did like it. So it looked really nice under my eyes the days I did wear it, but I don't think it's necessarily as fantastic as what the hype was sort of giving it. But yeah, I did really enjoy it for the week. I also used the It Cosmetics CC full, uh, sorry, color correcting full coverage cream. Uh, I just have a mini of it because I just wanted to try it. This is in the shade. Uh, medium. Um, really liked this as well. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. I really like this one as well. Uh, the tone was a little tiny bit on the verge of yellow, but 90% of foundations are. So I just add a bit of my um, Essence Darkening Drops, just the smallest bit, and it makes it a bit more beige, neutral toned. So it doesn't necessarily darken it a whole lot when you put just a little bit, but it just changes the tone of the foundation. So easy to correct, but yeah, most foundations are too yellow for me. But really liked the wear of this one. It wore lovely. It looked really good at the end of the day. And I really enjoyed this. Um, I also had a powder from Winky Lux. This is the Diamond Powder in Medium. If I can open it. <laughs> uh, that's it there. Oops, sorry. Um, so I liked this. I think maybe I got a little tiny bit too dark. However, it worked really well on top of some of the foundations that are the right colour for me, if that makes sense. If I put this over a yellowy foundation, I have a feeling it would have just amplified the fact that it was too yellow for me, because it is sort of yellowy, orange-based sort of tone in the powder itself. But I really did enjoy this wear-wise. It wore really nice. I could blend products really easily over the top of it. And I didn't find a lot of creasing or anything with this one, so I really liked this powder. Next, I had a blush. This is from Morphe. It's just a mini one in the shade Spirit. Um, that's probably more on shade there, not as washed out. Uh, really enjoyed this. Lovely tone, sort of like a neutral mauve sort of tone. Wore it with a bright, bright eye look, and it just looked really lovely on the cheeks. Sort of subtle and didn't take away from the eye look too much. Really, really love this um, blush. So I'd probably look into more Morphe blushes. For eyes, we had two palettes left. So this one I just had a few more shades to use out of. This is the Jawbreaker from Jeffree Star. Um, so I now have used every single shade. The look that I loved the most was probably the one I did with Orange Juice, which is the orange, that one there, orange shimmer. I just thought it looked really stunning. I mixed that with a red and a yellow and just like it did a little sunset sort of eye. Uh, looked really cool. I loved it. 
I love Jeffrey palettes so it's no surprise and then the other one I had in here was from Marc Jacobs this is the stiletto palette wore every shade this glitter is so pretty like on the eyes just gorgeous it's um light enough that it could be like just a wash of color I just dug my nail in um without sort of washing out the color that was under it but absolutely stunning palette I really like his formula as well now we're on to this week. So I've focused a little bit this week on lips just because I had a lot of like newish lip products in my collection that I hadn't used or hadn't tried so I just wanted to give them a go. So we have got one, two, three, four, five lip products which sounds a lot but you know. Uh, the first one is from YSL. This is their Ro Rouge Per Couture. I can't read that properly. In number five. That's it there. It's like a peachy warm nude. The next one's from Bite and this is in Star Anise. It's like a greyish brown. Um, and the next three I picked because I'm going to a uh, ball with work on Saturday. So probably the day you're going to see this. And I wanted to rock a red lip, but like a slightly darker than what I'm wearing now, red lip. So I picked some options. This is from the Villains collection from Colourpop in Evil Queen. This one we got in Bella Box a little while ago. This is from Quince and Crimson. It's their cheek and lip pencil. That's it there. It's just like a little pencil. And then this one is from the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 range. This is the um, Patsy Red shade. So that's it there. I will do a little swatchy of this one too. There you go. So there are the five lip colours for this week. I'm going to try to wear all of them. We'll see how that goes. And then I picked some highlighters. So this one, these ones come together because I listed them as one in my little book that I keep. These are the Colourpop highlighters from the Villains collection. I picked Maleficent and Cruella. I got these for my birthday from my parents, my brother. Um, that's them there. So this top one is Maleficent and this one that's really glittery is Cruella. So I think they're really pretty. And then I picked another highlight because I wanted something just a touch more blinding to wear to the ball maybe. This one is from Ofra. It's the highlighter in Star Island. It's just a touch more um, metallic than the other two and a bit lighter. That's it on the bottom. Just here. And then the last thing I picked to pull in is also from the... Uh, Villains collection from Colourpop. It's the Misunderstood palette from the Villains. I just said that. There we are. I haven't used this. I've swatched it a few times and sort of played around with some colour combos that I might want to do, but I haven't actually worn it. So that one is going in as well. That's my seven for seven for this week, guys. I hope you had a lovely week last week and I hope you have an even better one coming up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.